Hey everyone, I'm gonna show you now how I use a kettle pizza on a 22 inch Weber grill. It's a regular 22 inch kettle grill. Uh, I'm gonna do it some alterations from the original. This particular pizza kettle or kettle pizza I should say, actually came with this stone. So it's slightly uh, smaller than some of the other bigger ones that they sell. This is not the tombstone edition. Tombstone edition would probably be better because it comes with a better cooking profile. And then the other thing that the kettle pizza sometimes will have is a top cooking steel. Instead of using that, we actually have this giant cordicite stone that we're actually gonna put on top of the kettle pizza so it heats up. I'm gonna be reusing some old coals today. When I reuse the coals, I like to put in a bed of new coals first so the smaller ones don't go inside. This way, I can heat up the most amount of coal in the quickest amount of time. So there's our, st uh, our starter for the coals. So we're gonna let this heat for 10 minutes. Another device I like to use when making pizza is the KitchenAid cheese grater attachment. It attaches to any KitchenAid mixer and grades large amount of cheese really fast. I like to try to grade the cheese as the coals heat. You can use any of your favorite pizza recipes. I'm gonna put this in at a half moon pattern towards the back. That's per the instructions of kettle pizza. Get some tongs and grab a couple of these hot coals. This is one of my secret tricks, by the way. And actually put it at the back of the pizza kettle. Now what happens is we're trying to simulate a wood fire grill. And I'm actually gonna feed various kinds of wood through here that'll heat up the back of it. Just be really careful, it's hot. Now that that's all ready to go, here is one of the secrets that, uh, that we implemented. Since we fixed the Kamado grill, we actually had some spare cordicite which is what this we used to use as a pizza stone. Um, when if you, if you just try to do it a la carte in a kettle pizza, it won't actually heat and pass through. So it actually never gets as hot as it needs to. Plus it's hard to transport. So the kettle pizza is actually gonna be the best way, the best way to uh, simulate an actual wood fired grill. We got lucky because we actually have an extra 22 inch uh, grate that would normally come with the Weber. And I put it up here on top. All right, so then we put this quarter side here. And like I said earlier, um, kettle pizza actually makes a steel that you can put up here. I highly recommend you put something up here to keep the heat in. Make sure all the vents are open. Vents are open here. Vents are open on the bottom because you won't cook. One thing the kettle pizza probably should implement one of these days is actually a door. We actually made this out of some sheet metal and some uh, bolts and I use this to help charge it up. And it goes on like so. And like I said before, uh, you can use any of your favorite pizza recipes. We just kind of used a regular uh, one online when we did this. Uh, I'm still working on the dough, still working on this my technique here, so it's still a work in progress. But I always found we never got the pizza hot enough till we got the kettle pizza involved. I have here some wet oak. That'll get some good smoke in there. See how I did that? Some oak and some peach. So watch me shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy. shimmy. Shimmy, shimmy, sham, sham. And there it is. The idea now is to kind of try and turn it, but it doesn't look like it's solid enough. So we'll just give it a minute. Look at that. It's not done yet. We have to flip it. See, this is about halfway done because we want it to be cooked on the other side. And remember we used the rolling pin, still getting those bubbles. Stick it in there to... 
Oh no! We can stick it in a little further now. Now we can always use the tongs. Ah. But you see how it's marbling like that? That's usually what you want to see throughout the pizza, the top and the bottom. Oh no! Look at that. Look at that color. See, now we're starting to get burnt, burnt pieces of pepperoni, burnt pieces of uh, cheese. That's a sign of that the thing is either done or nearly done, but we want to take a look at the leopard print. So not a whole lot coming out just yet. Careful not to burn your fingertips off. And there we go. It's sticking a little bit, but there you go. Oh man, look at that. I think that's good. Look at that pizza. So here's our finished pizza. So let us know if you have any questions or comments. We made this a little quickly, but I think uh, it came out pretty good and looks uh, super tasty. I would actually put this on a cooling rack just to kind of get the bottom to crust up a little more. Uh, so let us know if you have any questions. Remember to like, share, and subscribe. Let us know if you want to see any more experiments in the kettle pizza, uh, or if you want to see us cook anything. We still have more Kamado videos coming up. Thanks again for watching.